Now it's time for one of Washington Exec's highest honors, the Lifetime Achievement Award. To present this award, I'd like to introduce Horatio Rosansky, the President and CEO of Booz Allen Hamilton. Hello, everyone. Hi, Susan. Susan, I haven't worn a suit in three months, but for you, I'll do anything. Everyone, today I have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing this year's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, my friend, my colleague, Susan Penfield. Today, Susan serves as Booz Allen's Chief Innovation Officer. She leads our strategic innovation group and is a member of my leadership team. But this is just the last step in a 25 year journey that has taken through, some, through many roles in many places. We are the firm we are today because of our vision, because of our passion, and because of our can-do attitude. She's one of the architects of our Vision 2020 transformation, but long before that, she was a pioneer. In 2002, Susan, as one of our first and only senior female technology leaders, stood up our first software development center of excellence. In 2007, she, be, she became the leader of our health business and accelerated the growth in that business and made it one of our most vibrant units today, not just by having the right strategy, but by bringing in the right people. In 2016, Susan became our second chief innovation officer, and she was instrumental in launching our innovation center and in changing our culture to make sure that innovation is part of everything we do. Now, as big as her contributions have been inside Booz Allen, one of the things that stands out about Susan and makes her such a worthy recipient of this award is her impact on the community. I don't have the time to even begin to tell you everything she does, but in everything she does, she is a force of nature. If you engage Susan, in a 30 second conversation about the children's sin at NIH, you will end up volunteering there, you'll attend the gala and you'll open your wallet and you'll do everything in your power to make that organization succeed. I know because she's talked to me about it and there I am. And it's not just the children's sin, it's Seed Spot, it's Girls Inc., it's the American Red Cross and so many others. And yet, if you talk to Susan, if you ask her what she's proudest of, I know that she'll tell you that her proudest legacy is the people she has found, she has attracted, she has developed, and she has mentored on their professional journey. I consider myself one of the beneficiaries of Susan's mentorship. Susan, you have made me a better person and a better professional by pointing their way, by leading with your heart, by making me want to live up, up to your very high expectations. Susan is a fearless mentor. She will talk to you about anything. She will do it with candor and she will not mince words. But she will do it with such care that even a tough conversation becomes a great conversation. She is extremely generous. Whatever you need, her time, her attention, her own money, she will give to help you on your journey. And there are countless people at Booz Allen, countless senior leaders at Booz Allen that would attest to that. And it's not just at the individual level. Susan has helped change our firm. Through her leadership in our women's agenda and in women in STEM, she has ensured that Booz Allen's diversity continues to advance. And she's one of the reasons that today, there are more women than men on our leadership team. Susan Penfield, you're a dear friend. You're a compassionate leader. You're a passionate leader. You're an amazing person. I cannot think of a better person 
to receive this award. We love you and we are so very proud of you. Everyone, I hope you will send your virtual congratulations to Susan Penfield. This year's 2020 Lifetime Achievement Award recipient by Washington Exec. And with that, Susan, over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm grateful to be standing here today to accept the Lifetime Achievement Award from Washington Exec. I first want to thank Horacio Rosansky for his introduction and kind words. Horacio, you have been a steady mentor, an amazing friend, and a guiding light for our firm. Thank you for your fearless leadership and confidence you have placed in me during my 26-year career at Booz Allen. To all of the finalists and award winners, congratulations on your achievements. In our current environment, I am grateful we are still able to celebrate each other's successes. Thank you, JD and Washington Exec, for organizing this event and for celebrating impactful and innovative leaders in industry and in government. As I reflect on what this Lifetime Achievement Award means to me, I am inspired to talk about the power of resiliency. In today's challenging times, I am reminded about what it takes to be resilient and how to use that strength to better the world around us. Two stories come to mind. My first story is about a small town girl growing up in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. I am a product of proud, hardworking parents stern Catholic school nuns, and a blue-collar industrial town. At an early age, I was taught the importance of hard work and giving back. Williamsport was the type of place where community mattered. When my family fell on hard times, our church community rallied around us to pay for school lunches and eventually my high school tuition. I felt like I was standing on the shoulders of my community and used that feeling of support as a way to tackle any obstacle that came my way. I pledged to myself that I would make it a priority to give back to others someday. And I got that opportunity when I came to Booz Allen, a culture that is truly steeped in community service. Growing up, I didn't know many women in high powered positions, but it was mostly women, my mom, my aunts, the Catholic nuns and caring neighbors that provided me my role models. When I came to Booz Allen, I found an incredible community of amazing women who support each other and are passionate about empowering others. We worked together to create the firm's women's agenda, partnered with not-for-profits in the STEM arena, Women in Technology, Girls Inc., and STEM Girls for Social Good. We even co-wrote a STEM book called Imagine It for grade school girls. What's most rewarding, though, is the camaraderie of this group of women what we do for each other, and what we do to mentor, sponsor, and develop the next generation of women. They really make me proud, and they've been a driving force of resiliency throughout my career. Story number two is about our industry. The government tech business has not always been the easiest. We have weathered many storms over the 30 years that I've been part of this business. So the opportunity for resilience and reinvention is always there. As leaders, this means we get to reshape the narrative and lean into challenges as they arise. We lead our clients through new technologies, from client server to the cloud, transforming and enhancing their missions. Our jobs are focused on driving innovation and relentlessly building teams, new products, new businesses, and partnerships to solve our clients' most complex challenges. But on the other side of the coin, and one that our industry shines a very bright light on, is community. I've seen this group rally for so many amazing causes, and I've been lucky enough to share in a few that have made a real difference in people's lives. One is the kids and families at the Children's Inn at NIH, a place like home for seriously ill children and their families as they go through groundbreaking clinical trials. The Gov community has always rallied around the inn, and my own Booz Allen family does the same. I have been lucky to be part of a group of leaders who make resilience for others an absolute priority. So as lifetime achievements go, my proudest moments center around times when I get to help others, our people, our clients, and our community partners. 
I have to say lifetime achievement does make me feel a little old, but I still feel like I'm just getting started. As I think about my second act, whenever that may be, it's a little more personal. Um, I lost my dear mama back in March, and for those of you who have lost both your parents, it is and continues to be a true test of resiliency. I thought I knew healthcare, but during my mom's battle with brain cancer, I got to see the good and the not so good. These challenges make me want to lean in and use innovation, technology, and human compassion to really transform those patient experiences. So I have a lot to look forward to for sure. I want to say thank you to this government community. We compete, we win, we lose, but we always have each other's back. It's a positive and supportive group that I count my blessings to be among. I have developed amazing friendships with many people in this community, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to be part of this vibrant and innovative group of leaders that has such passion for serving our federal government. Lastly, I want to say thank my wonderful partner in life, my husband, Brian. We celebrated 32 years of marriage last month, and he has truly been my rock for all of these years. Thank you, honey, for just being you. Congratulations again to all the finalists and award winners, and thank you again for this really great honor.